Well, there's been promising news in the world of coronavirus vaccine development lately, with two companies touting a high rate of success in early testing. While that's good news to hear, we're still a ways away from seeing vaccine distribution available to everyone. As more news on vaccine development trickles in, we want to help clear up any confusion you may have. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here now to clarify what vaccine effectiveness means. Julie, it refers to the likelihood that a coronavirus shot will work in people. This week, Moderna announced its vaccine was nearly 95% effective. Last week, Pfizer made a similar announcement and then put out an update on its vaccine today. Effectiveness numbers will change as the vaccine studies continue since the early calculations were based on fewer than 100 COVID-19 cases in each study. But these results provide strong signals that the vaccine could prevent a majority of disease when large groups of people are vaccinated. So here's what we're dealing with moving forward. U.S. officials say a vaccine would need to be at least 50% effective before they would consider approving it for use. And the broad early effectiveness figures don't tell the whole story. Scientists also need to understand how well the vaccine protects people in different age groups and demographic categories. For both Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines, the interim results were based on people who had COVID-19 symptoms that prompted a virus test. This means we don't know yet whether someone who's vaccinated might still get infected, even if they show no symptoms and spread the virus. It's also unknown if the shots will give lasting protection or whether boosters will be required. Those are just some of the questions we don't know the answers to right now, but you can bet scientists are working diligently to solve them. And we'll be sure to update you on all vaccine news right here on News 6 and, of course, on ClickOrlando.com.